Assalamu alaikum this is Amir Khan and this is continuing from the previous lecture and uh, we will be discussing the advantages or disadvantages in this uh, formal lecture so what are the advantages of the expert opinion method it's simple to conduct can be used where quantitative data is not available the forecasting is reliable and is based on the opinion of the people who know the product very well it means that they are on the expert level right? it is inexpensive and takes less time what are the disadvantages of using this method the results are based on mere hunch of one or more person and not a scientific analysis the expert may be biased the method is subjective and the forecast could be unfavorable influenced by person with vested interest so it totally depends on the inner feeling and inner expertise involved in it consumer complete numerization survey this method is based on the complete survey of all the consumers for the commodity under consideration interviews or questionnaires are used so in this particular uh, survey there are advantages and disadvantages both are involved in advantages are that quite accurate it's simple to use and not affected by personal biases there as disadvantages are uh, on the on the higher side that it is costly it's time consuming difficult and impossible to survey all the consumers open to faulty recording and wrong interpretations can be used only for products with limited consumers miniature form of complete innovation method only few consumers selected and their views collected what are the advantages an important tool especially for short term projection simple does not cost much works quickly give excellent results if used carefully there are the disadvantages are conclusions are based on the view of only a few consumers and not all of them sample may not be true representative of the entire population this we will be discussing the sales force opinion survey the employees of a company who are part of a sales and marketing team are asked to predict future levels of demand sales force opinion advantages are simplest of the forecasting method less costly easy to collect data whereas there are disadvantages of this as well consumer taste and preferences keep changing past trends may not continue in the future opinion of sales force may thus be erroneous sales force may give biased uh, views as the projected demand affects their future job prospects with this we come to an end of this lecture and in uh, the next lecture we will be discussing advantages disadvantages of the consumer end user survey and the quantitative techniques in detail uh, their trends parametric forecasting econometric techniques and other techniques as well so uh keep stick to these lectures and i hope you will be understanding the basics of econ uh, managerial economics assalam alaikum